what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be going over how you can make unlimited stubs and also if you have in trouble in many seasons how to fix it let's get right into the breakdown if you want to complete every collection super super fast head over to my sponsor and use code fat for five percent off your order super fast and reliable all right so if you're using the many seasons method you can go ahead and stack up tons and tons of packs. Now also, out of them packs, you are gonna get some super glitchy pulls every once in a while. Now at the bare minimum, doing this over and over, you will usually make in about seven to 10 minutes, about 2,500 to 3,000 stubs. Then you restart the season and do it over and over and over. If you are not finishing the program, that's going to help you unlock more tiers in the program. Let's get into the mini seasons breakdown, exactly what you do when you start seeing the error and all that type of stuff. So if you come right here to single player modes, you go to mini seasons, okay? So if I go into my mini seasons, the first step is to make sure that you are the home team. So if it's saying verse singers, verse singers or anything like that that is the home team now if you are on old gen you want to use laughing mountain as the stadium or coors field if you are on next gen you can use blank canvas blank canvas 2 or you can use pxp on mars okay make sure that you are home so in case you don't get the 10 runs then you can intentionally walk the computer let them get nine runs and then you will get that extra chance at bat to get that 10th run after that you can instantly quit out you don't have to play the full game unless you do want to continue in the mini seasons and unlock other rewards now the two most difficult teams is going to be the cats and the whales okay so if you reset the season and you see them right here in the first slots then you want to restart the season again until you get anybody besides the cats and the whales. It's just going to help speed up the process. So if you come right here to mini seasons, you're going to push X or square. It's in the right hand corner. Push X or square. You're going to go to start fresh season, confirm, and then it is going to load. Sometimes you're going to get an error. If you get an error over and over and over, still try to go into the mini seasons. As you can see, I have a different set of teams right here. So it's at the K-A-I-J-U. So we are away and not home. So sometimes it's going to take you two times. Sometimes it's going to take you four or five times. But even if an error pops up, which happens about 60 to 70% of the time, you still can get in. Now, they did try to go in there and fix it. Right here, you can see verse the pinheads. So we are home again. So this is a game that you want to play. Go in, get your 10 runs, try to have one of the smallest fields or max elevation fields as possible. Now, if it's giving you, you cannot connect, there is an error, any type of error. All you have to do is just refresh the season and try to go back in. A lot of people see the error and they think that they can't play at all. All you have to do is see the error and then go inside. If you can't go inside, you're going to fully shut down your console, whether PlayStation or Xbox. Come right here, close the app out, fully power down the game, turn it back on, and then go back inside and try to reset your season that way you should be able to get inside also with the new all-star program getting ready to drop whatever team that you have any sellable players you should be getting ready to sell them off in the next 24 hours now i have all these players none of these players on my team are locked in they are all sellable so if you go look right here that is 11,000 stubs per person with my whole team in my inventory, in my bench of all my sellable players, I have easily over 240 to 250,000 stubs. I'm going to replace my players with all the free cards that I can get. On top of that, I have all the free packs. So with my investments, using the mini seasons, unlimited stub method, 
and selling off players and not locking everybody in, I easily have a little over 800 to 900,000 stubs. So if there's anybody that you wanna try out, by using that method, you can do that. Now, on top of that, if you are behind on any programs like myself, June monthly program I am behind on, all these cards are going for almost 10 K stubs. So earlier I was grinding, unlocked all these cards right here, 10,000 stubs a piece. Once I get right here, it's gonna be a little over 10,000 stubs. Once I get a little higher, I'm gonna get to these 93s. They are going for 35,000 stubs and higher. So each one of these that I get that are sellable is gonna give me another 300 to 400,000 stubs just by not locking them in. Because with the All-Star program, you're gonna be getting 95s, 96s, 97s for free. Now, if you want to do the collections, go ahead, lock all your cards in, do it that way. But all it's going to take is a parallel one or a parallel two, and you are going to be having top tier cards over the next three days for free. If you enjoy the content, drop a thumbs up on the video. If you need help with anything, go in the comment section and let me know. If you are OG on the channel, go in the comment section and say W, get them stubs stacked up. Make sure that you are taking advantage of the mini seasons right now. The best unlimited stub method in the game. And if you have any kind of errors, do exactly what I showed you. I'll see y'all on the screen later on. Let's go.